Hey what's up guys, it's Jamie and in this video we're looking at the Ionic Toast and the Ionic Toast is just a way to open up a little message to the user that looks like this and we're going to be covering um, the installation of it into your Ionic project as well as um, just configuring it, configuring how it looks, the colors, configuring the button, the message and so forth. There are many different ways of showing a message to the user. You can use an alert or you can use a toast or you can have like a popover. Um, you can just pick whichever one works best for you. This one isn't the most configurable. It's basically only a message and a single button. It's just for like a quick message to the user. So if you need something more complicated, then um, probably look into the Ionic Alert. Um, I'll have a video on that as well as um, you can check out the Ionic Popover and I'll have a video on that as well um, at some point in the future. And so with that said guys, let's get into the code. I've just got a blank project here called Ionic Toast Example. It's just freshly generated, I just changed the title and stuff. If you don't have your own project, be sure to check out my video on getting started with Ionic and then we'll get you set up with a project so that you can um, display the toast like we're going to do right here. So first I'm going to make a button so that when I press it, it'll open the toast and show a message to the user. So the way I'm going to do that is using um, ion button. Okay, and this is an ionic 4 syntax. Alright, and so on click, um, I want this button to call a function called um, open toast or something like that. Okay, and it's going to say open toast. Alright, and that's all the button's going to do. Let's just make sure that that shows up on the page. Okay, there we go, there's our button. And now let's go and hook up that function. So inside of my TypeScript file for that same component, just the home component, um, first thing I need to do is I need to import the toast controller from Ionic Angular. Okay, then I need to declare a constructor like this and inject the dependency of the toast controller. All right, now I'm just going to create that open toast method right here, like this. Now inside of here, I'm going to use the toast controller in order to actually present the toast from Ionic. So I'm going to declare a variable here called toast and then just call toastcontroller.create. So this will create our toast object which we can like listen to what the user presses and most importantly call present on it. Um, we'll do that in a second um, but first I'm just going to pass in some data here. So the message is like what I want the toast to say and then the duration is the duration which the toast will be up. I'll explain more about the configuration in a second, but first let's just get this working. So now that I have the toast object, I can call toast.present. Okay, and then once I do that, um, this function will indeed open up a toast for two seconds that says your settings have been saved, something like that. Um, open toast should be called right here when we click this button and it should open up the toast just like we're intending it to. So if we go back to the page and let it refresh, then I'll press open toast and then it pops up with this thing that says your settings have been saved. Now before we get on to the advanced configuration, if you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. And let's get into some of the configuration which you can do. This is described best in the docs, but I'll just kind of give an overview. Um, so there's an animated property which you can pass in. So by default, it's going to be animated, but for example, um, if we pass in uh, the value of animated is false, um, and actually before I save, I'm just going to show you again what it looks like when it's animated. Um, it just kind of fades in like that. But if I save this animated false being passed in as configuration to our toast, then what we can do is actually um, press it and then it will just kind of immediately appear like that. So depending on what your goal is, you can do any sort of these configurations. You can configure the animation. You can also configure what the close button says, but right now we don't even have a close button. Um, if we press it, it's just showing a message. If I just go in here and then I type close, um, it'll say show close button. And so if I set that to true, because it's false by default, um, then it will just show us that button and then we'll see what the default text is. So when I press open toast now, close button just by default says close, but I can configure the close button text to be something like 
um, hide or something like that just whatever you want then instead it will just display hide right there so I'll click that and now it says hide so I won't bore you with the rest of those options but something very important is to be able to um, basically like subscribe to when uh, the toast is closed by the user or just by expiring from this duration and so how we do that is we say toast dot on to dismiss um, right this one right here on to dismiss and so this is a promise that we can call dot then on and then inside of here we can put in a callback and then this callback actually takes in a value um, that was passed back when the toast was dismissed um, we can just kind of ignore that for now um, but let's just console.log um, that the toast was dismissed so toast dismissed all right and that's either by expiring or or it's by the user clicking close so I'll try it um, just hands off okay so it says toast dismissed and then let's try clicking it as well okay so toast dismissed as well so that's how you can kind of keep tabs on when the user dismisses that um, by the way if if you exclude the duration from your toast it will it'll be displayed for basically forever <laughs> until the user clicks that button and so if I press this now it's just gonna sit there until the user manually clicks hide okay so that's just kind of another style of the toast depending on what kind of message you want to display to the user you can either include that duration right here or you can just keep it out and then it will be displayed forever all right and kind of another important option is like the position of the toast so we can provide a position parameter right here and it's either bottom middle or top so by default it's bottom but say if I want to set it to middle um, then it will let me do that and we'll see that it just shows up right in the middle of the screen so we'll test that out and there we go it's right in the middle um, so this is a great little component for just configuring just basic message with a confirmation close button or hide button whatever you want to do this could even be like a save button if you wanted but for kind of more complicated things you want to use um, like an alert or something instead so be sure to check out my video on the ionic alert um, when I have that out um, but this is kind of just for basic messaging of uh, things to the user. Another cool option you can configure is the color attribute. So like if I set mine to secondary, and by the way this is a variable defined inside of my theme file of variables.scss, so this is like where all the themes are declared. So the secondary color is kind of like this bright blue color. Um, and so if I go back on the page and then click this you'll see that the entire background is that bright blue color um, by default I think it was the dark so this one right here um, and that's just because Ionic wants it to contrast highly with the page in terms of value if you're familiar with like hue saturation and value they want a high value contrast but this blue is sort of more like a saturation contrast which is kinda interesting I don't really like it I'm gonna change it back to um, just show you what it looks like with dark it should look the same as it originally did so open this up and yep so this looks a lot better all right and that's it for the ionic toast you guys um, thanks for watching be sure to like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more videos like this if you're interested and if you have any questions you can also leave them in the comments below and with that said guys i'll see you in the next video take care uh -huh.